Did you know that a staggering 78% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? That's more than three quarters of the population. It's a shocking reality that underscores the importance of personal finance. It's not just about how much you earn, it's about how much you keep, how well you manage it, and how hard it's working for you. Let's delve into the nitty-gritty of this. Picture this, you're Joe, a hard-working guy earning a decent salary, but every month, like clockwork, you find yourself scraping the barrel. You're baffled, asking yourself, where did all my money go? You're not alone. Millions of Joes and Janes are in the same boat, riding the tumultuous waves of financial instability. This is the harsh reality for many, a reality that is often swept under the rug. We're taught algebra and history in school, but financial literacy, a skill that's paramount to our survival and success in the real world, is often left out of the curriculum. It's no wonder that many of us stumble into adulthood without a clear understanding of how to navigate the complex world of personal finance. But it's not just about the money. It's about the stress, the sleepless nights, the constant juggling act trying to make ends meet. It's about the impact on your health, your relationships, your dreams. It's about the freedom and peace of mind that comes with financial security. Now you might be thinking, that's all very well, but what can I do about it? Well, the first step is acknowledging the problem. As the saying goes, the first step to solving a problem is recognizing there is one. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. But don't despair. The world of personal finance may seem like a labyrinth, but it's one we can navigate together. With the right knowledge, tools, and mindset, we can turn the tide. We can break the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle and build a future of financial independence and security. Now imagine a life free from such financial worries. Sounds good? Keep watching. Meet John, he used to spend his salary as soon as he got it until he discovered the magic of budgeting. Once upon a time John was like many of us living paycheck to paycheck with no clear idea of where his money was going. Then he discovered the power of budgeting, and it was a game changer. Budgeting you see, is more than just putting numbers on a spreadsheet. It's a tool that gives you control over your money, rather than letting your money control you. So how did John go from a spendthrift to a financial wizard? It started with understanding his income and expenses. He listed down all his monthly earnings and outgoings and the result was an eye-opener. He found out that he was spending way more than he thought on dining out and online shopping while saving far less than he intended. Having this clear picture of his financial situation, John was able to set realistic and achievable spending and saving goals. He allocated funds for his needs first, rent, groceries, utilities and so on. Then, he set aside money for his wants like dining out and entertainment, but within reasonable limits. This way he didn't feel deprived and sticking to his budget was less of a struggle. The beauty of budgeting is that it can be tailored to fit individual needs and lifestyles. John, for example, adopted the zero-based budgeting method, where every dollar has a job. This helped him ensure that he was not only covering his expenses but also working towards his financial goals, like building an emergency fund and saving for a vacation. Budgeting also gave John the freedom to make conscious spending decisions. He no longer had to worry about whether he could afford a night out with friends or a new gadget. If it was in the budget he could enjoy it guilt-free. If not, he knew he had to either save up for it, or reconsider the purchase. Thanks to budgeting, John transformed his financial life. He went from living paycheck to paycheck, to having a clear financial plan and peace of mind. He's no longer stressed about money, and he's making progress towards his financial goals. Thanks to budgeting, John now enjoys financial peace of mind. You can too. And remember, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips and tricks. Let's introduce you to Sarah. She was never a big earner but she is now a proud owner of her own house. How did she do it? By saving wisely. Sarah, like many of us, started out in the world of work with a modest income. But rather than letting her small paycheck limit her, she decided to make her money work for her. How, you might ask? Simple, she saved. Now I know what you're thinking. I've heard this before, saving isn't anything new. And you're right. But it was Sarah's approach to saving that was the game changer. She didn't just save, she saved regularly, consistently, and wisely. Every month with the precision of a Swiss watch, Sarah put away a portion of her income. It didn't matter whether it was a good month or a bad one, come rain or shine, she saved. But here's the secret sauce. She didn't just stash her money under her mattress. No, Sarah was smarter than that. She put her money in a high-interest savings account. This way not only was her money safe, it was also growing, slowly but surely. Over time, these regular savings started to add up. $10 became $100, $100 became $1,000, and 
and before she knew it, Sarah had accumulated a significant nest egg. This nest egg then became the down payment for her house. You see it wasn't about how much Sarah earned, it was about how much she saved. She understood the power of savings and leveraged it to achieve her financial goals. And that's the power of savings for you. It's not about depriving yourself of today's joys for some distant future. It's about making smart choices, being consistent, and letting your money work for you. So, the next time you think about splurging on that fancy gadget or designer dress, remember Sarah and her humble savings. Because in the grand scheme of things, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you save, that truly matters. Remember every penny saved is a penny earned. Sarah is a living testament to this. Now let's talk about Mike. He was once drowning in debt but he managed to turn his life around. Want to know his secret? Keep watching. Imagine being Mike. A good job, a nice car, a swanky apartment. On the outside life was perfect. But behind that glitz and glamour, Mike was juggling multiple credit card bills and loan repayments. He was stuck in a vicious cycle of borrowing to pay off debts, only to accumulate more. Then, Mike had an epiphany. He realized that his debt was not a result of his needs, but his wants. That's when he decided to take control of his finances. Mike began by trimming his expenses, distinguishing between what he wanted and what he truly needed. He started cooking at home instead of eating out, swapped his gym membership for home workouts and traded his expensive car for a more economical model. But it wasn't just about cutting back. Mike also started to focus on paying off his debts, starting with the ones with the highest interest rates. He made more than the minimum payments whenever possible, chipping away at his debt mountain. Mike's journey wasn't easy, but he made it, and he stayed debt-free. His story reminds us of a crucial lesson. Debt is often a choice, not a necessity. Unnecessary borrowing can lead to a debt trap, where one loan leads to another, creating a never-ending cycle. So how can you avoid falling into the same trap as Mike once did? Here are some strategies. First, live within your means. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Avoid impulse purchases and plan your expenses in advance. Second, be cautious with credit. It's not free money. It's a loan that you'll have to repay, often with high interest. Third, make saving a habit. Even a small amount set aside each month can create a safety net for unexpected expenses, reducing your reliance on debt. And finally, if you find yourself in debt, don't despair. Remember Mike's story, and know that with discipline and determination, you can turn your financial situation around. Debt is like quicksand, the more you struggle, the deeper you sink. But like Mike, you can escape if you stop digging and start climbing. Finally, let's meet Lisa. She lost her job unexpectedly but didn't panic. Why? Because she had an emergency fund. Now, let's dive into Lisa's story. One sunny Tuesday her boss called her in and told her the company was downsizing. Just like that, Lisa was out of a job. But instead of panic, Lisa felt a sense of calm. The reason? She had built an emergency fund that could cover her expenses for six whole months. You see, an emergency fund is like your financial safety net, ready to catch you when life throws a curveball. It's the stash of cash you've set aside specifically for unexpected expenses, such as job loss, medical emergencies, or major home repairs. Now you might be wondering, how did Lisa build her emergency fund? Well it wasn't overnight. Lisa started by setting a goal. Financial experts often recommend saving enough to cover three to six months of living expenses, but Lisa aimed for six. Next, she determined how much she could save each month. She looked at her budget, cut out non-essential expenses, and found ways to increase her income. She then set up automatic transfers from her checking account to her savings account, to make sure she kept up with her goal. But what if you're living paycheck to paycheck, and saving seems like a distant dream? Start small. Even saving a small amount consistently can add up over time. Consider cutting back on small, non-essential expenses. That daily gourmet coffee or premium streaming service could be the start of your emergency fund. In the end, it's not about the amount you save, but the habit of saving. It's about giving yourself the peace of mind that you're prepared for life's unexpected turns. An emergency fund is like a financial safety net. Lisa's story proves that. So when are you starting yours? Remember, your journey to financial freedom starts with a single step, or in this case, a single dollar saved. So let's get started on building that emergency fund, shall we? We hope you found this guide to personal finance enlightening. We've journeyed through the shocking reality of personal finance, the importance of budgeting, the power of savings, avoiding debt traps, and building an emergency fund. Each step is crucial in gaining control over your financial health and securing your future. Just like Lisa, 
you too can be prepared for life's curveballs. It's all about understanding the importance of financial literacy and taking proactive steps to manage your personal finances. From budgeting to saving, avoiding debt and beyond, each step you take brings you closer to financial freedom and peace of mind. Now it's your turn to take action. Start with understanding your finances. Create a budget, start saving, avoid debt traps, and build that emergency fund. Every step you take, no matter how small, is a step towards financial stability and freedom. If you want more insightful and engaging guides like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Remember, knowledge is power, and with us, you're always learning. See you in the next video.